Vladimir Prince is the head of the innovation lab at Peugeot, and they're introducing a very interesting car at the Paris Motor Show, what you're calling the air hybrid. Explain that a little bit, please. It's, it's, more, it's more of an air hybrid. It's a two-liter car. Mm -hmm. So... For fuel consumption. For fuel consumption, yes. So, so for our U.S. viewers, that's roughly 120 miles to the gallon. Yes. Yes, right. So now explain a little bit of the technology of how you get to that. The technology. So we have, for, for making this two-liter car, we have to work to all the field of the car. So we have to work on weight. We have to work on aerodynamics. We have to work on the, on the tires. We have to work on the thermal engine. And we need also hybridization. That's why it's hybrid air. Mm -hmm. But hybrid air, it's only the hybridization. It's the major, the major part. But for reaching the two liter target, we have to work really on all the fields. Everything, yes. everything. Yeah. And the hybridization, as you say though, instead of using batteries, you're compressing, is, is it air or is it hydrogen? It's nitrogen. Nitrogen. It's nitrogen. It's a it's a close it's a close circuit, mm -hmm. and we use we we use the, the the storage the storage of energy is made by high pressure nitrogen. So we have two tanks, one for high pressure, one for low pressure, because we are in close in close circuit. And when we break, we we take the energy from the for the kinetic energy of the car. We put it into the storage. And when we reaccelerate, we are able to use to use this energy as a as an electric hybrid. But mm -hmm. it's not a battery. Right. We are also able to have um, pure pure zero emission mode because we have not a lot of energy, but we have it. Mm -hmm. and so we are able to, to drive in pure electric in pure not electric yeah, zero so emission mode. Zero emissions. What's the advantage of having the the compressed nitrogen instead of using a battery? The, the, the main the main reason is. Um, if you make the comparison with with electric with electric hybrid, no copper, no rare earth, no battery. So this is only uh, let's say robust technology and well known. It's hydraulic. It's compressed. It compressed gas. Mm -hmm. So this is no no rare materials. So this is the, the main the main um, advantage is this is an affordable solution. So it's cheaper than a battery. Yeah, less expensive. Less expensive. This is this is a ch yeah uh, a cheaper a cheaper hybridization. Can you give us a, a percentage cheaper or no? It's difficult because if you try to make the comparison, for example, with a plug-in where you have a big battery, mm. or if you use a bigger car, there's no no, no easy it's comparison. It's so easy to make a comparison. And and it must be far uh, less weight as well. Um. Yes, but it depends on uh, on the amount of, of battery. We have not a lot, lot not a lot of energy, uh, so we need to we need additional device. Uh -huh. So we we add a little bit uh, weight, 100 kilos. Uh -huh. But but on this car, we have saved more than 200 kilos. So if you make the comparison with a 208 of today, we with only a gasoline engine, on this car, you have 100 kilo less but with the, the hybrid system mm -hmm. so at the end this is really uh, energetically speaking this is a really big improvement yes it is when might we see this for sale to the public mm, probably not before not before five years because we have a lot of technology in fact there is a panel there is a panel of technology hybrid Weight, weight savings, for example, for the weight saving. In some parts, we use we use uh, high performance steel. That's already available. Yes. We use aluminum. Okay, that's also that's also possible. We use some kind of composite. Mm -hmm. Carbon, for example, we use we use some some carbon in the um, in the rear panel. And for carbon, this is not so easy to have it to have it at the at the cost which is compatible with this kind with this kind of car mm -hmm. so we are hoping that uh, for example for carbon the price will decrease yes we have some colleagues from Florencia who are working on a low cost uh, low cost approach for carbon and uh, we hope uh, that in five years this will be this will be affordable and uh, we will use it this is still a question so some some technology will appear yes in three four years 
we hope that we will be able to have this kind of car with two liters in, uh, in about five years, but not before. Not before. Vladimir Prince, thank you so thank much you. for explaining this car. Very, that very interesting. Yeah, it's clear to me. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Well, there you go. A 120 mile per gallon hybrid that doesn't use any kind of battery whatsoever. Maybe we'll see it in five years. We'll see. Keep tuned to Autoline.tv for more updates from the Paris Motor Show. Introducing a car company that's never made a single car. Legendary durability, impressive mileage, Firestone tires. So unstrap the saddle, because these old stallions are ready to run again. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone.